Hi, I'm Leslie with Art Insights Animation and Film Art Gallery. Check out this interview with my friend and cinema movie poster artist John Alvin as part of our tribute show of original artwork at my art gallery. We love you, John. I, I, I think for myself, even in the worst movie, there's something that I can right. embrace. There's something I can see. There's a moment that inspires a thought that makes a picture in my head that I that I want to that I want to do. And, and sometimes it's, it's just a frail, thin little thread of something going on in the in the movie, but I can find it. It's it's almost always there. And I also have great I have great sympathy for f filmmakers. I mean, they're art they themselves are artists painting with a very different palette than I use. They're painting with sound and motion and mm -hmm. time and extras and makeup, and they, they work for several years sometimes to get something on the screen and sometimes the magic works and sometimes it doesn't and I, I feel for them somewhere I mean I can even find an empathy for a film that isn't successful in the effort that went into it because mm -hmm. I kind of know I'm what it was too. and so so in the same sense talking about like, like like people or movies being like people it, even in some people I really dislike there's probably some quality that I admire or some something that I can at least relate to so, so I think it's my job, if I'm publicizing a film or helping to, it's my job to find that even when it's very elusive or almost impossible. Some films, it's which do we leave out because this is so, so wonderful. I mean, E.T. is one of those films. And, and, what a great poster. And, Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, and, 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 you know, deep, deep, you know, moody things like Blade Runner, it's like, well, awesome. we, we, we had just met Harrison Ford as... Han Solo in Star Wars and as Indiana Jones in, in Raiders of the Lost Ark and he was a, a hero, a, a John Wayne of his time right then and then all of a sudden here comes this dark film he's from an expert right. director where he gets beat up every 15 minutes. And he's it, not a sympathetic <laughs> character. Right, really. right and it's like but still realistically you got to show him. He was the draw, he was the name, he was the what the studio was banking on and I don't know, I mean, I've painted Harrison Ford so many times. I mean, I feel like I know him. He wouldn't know me on the street, but I feel like I know sure. him. <laughs> Thanks. And, and um, each time, there is a, f a fire in him. There is something in his most bland expression uh -huh. that, that whether you like him or not, you c he is an undeniable presence on the screen. And I've always tried to... I presented him. Well, I've tried to present him that way in Blade Runner because the objective there, uh, uh, Warner's wanted me to show him as the big hero character. And he's well, not. we got him big, and, you know, and worked around that, and, and at least he's prominent. But uh, he's not heroic. He's not really. he, he, the poster, well, well, I I, under, I understand poster, what you're saying, but, but but in in their in their view, he was big. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like I did a, a poster called the uh, I did a, a movie. I'm sorry, a movie called Hanover Street. Oh, Harrison I like that Ford movie. in it, oh, and uh, and, and like that movie. <laughs> didn't do well. D mm -hmm. You know the no, the post the, the poster for me was a chance That's to. That's a great poster. Thanks. I didn't know you did that. Yes, okay. I did that. Cool. I got literally, winger, literally. Right? Uh, no, it was um, Leslie and down down. Okay. Yes, and um, and Harrison Ford as I mean how romantic a flyer a World War II flyer you know, from a B-25, and, uh, you know, and I got out the oil paint, and I tried to paint in a very classical manner, uh, you know, to, to just sort of evoke that era, uh, and, and, and these lovers torn apart by war and brought together by That's war, really cool and, and all that kind of stuff, and you, you never believe though what, what happened in that. It, right between the two lovers, you know, when he's got his cap on, he looks cool, he looks so good, and again, I feel like I know the guy, right? And right in the middle is a B-25 flying at us, you know, underlit by, by the fires from below, dropping bombs, making a bomb run, and another B-25 behind it. And there's certain liberties taken with the B-25 that the filmmaker took in the film and that the filmmaker wanted to exaggerate. The engine nacelles are just a little oversized, and the, it's just bristling a little too many, much with guns. You wouldn't believe Columbia Pictures got like six letters of complaints from experts mm -hmm. on B-25s. Mm -hmm. It's like sort of like, like, guys, couldn't you just set the details aside and kind of enjoy the, the, the sweeping image of, Ro of Rolling Stone World War II? It says, no, those nacelles are not right. Those engine vents are not quite the right proportion. And it's like a whole list, all accurate and all true. And, yet, and even I knew I was taking certain liberties with it. But that was just so, so funny that that was, that was the focus. No one said, by the way, Harrison Ford looks really good. <laughs>